My name is Katie Sayor. I am an early childhood elementary education dual major, and this is my third year at Penn State. The reason I chose Penn State Mont Alto, it was a small town, like where I was from, and the campus is absolutely gorgeous. The forestry majors keep it in tip-top shape, and the student activities coordinator is always planning events. We have concerts come in, we take bus trips to New York. The Student Government Association, Line Ambassadors, and then I did orientation. Penn State offers so many chances for you to get involved. No matter what you like to do, Penn State is gonna have an activity, a club, an organization that you can join that follows your interests and you will find others on campus that have the same interest as you. Hi, I'm Katie Bruner. I'm from Downingtown, Pennsylvania. I'm a junior majoring in biobehavioral health. I was really attracted to the school spirit that you see walking around on campus every day. Um, when I came up to visit Penn State, I saw people walking around wearing Penn State t-shirts. I heard people shouting, we are Penn State at each other. I walked around campus for a little bit asking myself, could I really be happy living here for four years of my life? I definitely made the right decision coming to Penn State. They don't call it Happy Valley for nothing. It is a very happy place and I realized that I made the best decision of my entire life to come to Penn State. Performing in front of 105,000 fans every Saturday has been the experience of a lifetime. The first football game my freshman year, uh, we marched out of the tunnel onto the stadium. That was the first time I had ever touched the stadium grass. I was pretty surprised at how spongy it was. They really make quite a soft carpet for the football team. And I was so excited. And then the band lines up and the football team runs out and Joe Paterno runs out with the football team. I couldn't play the fight song. We're supposed to be playing Fight on State at that point. Joe Paterno goes running by and I, I couldn't play. I couldn't do anything but stand there and think, I'm three feet from Joe Paterno. I will never forget that moment for the rest of my life.